Montez here, playing Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we got knocked out of the air by a bomb. How unfortunate. So now, wow, I missed that block extremely hard. Just gonna dodge these enemies? Never mind. Anyways, we got knocked out of the air by a bomb, and now we're in here, Bowser's Castle, or at least the past room. Not much else to talk about. By the way, Mario is the damage heavy one and Luigi is the defense heavy one. So often times you'll see Mario take more damage than Luigi. Wow, I dodged that exclusively well. Oh, and we have a boo! work that way. Also, you can't use green shells on them, because they are a flying enemy. So, we'll have to jump. I'm just going to take out the boo here, for, uh, you know, convenience. I think there's other, uh, boos variants in this game, but I really forget about that. Uncut battles of high impact Mario and Luigi fighting Goomba. And this is the example of items. Sometimes in battle, you'll get items afterwards. It's really helpful when you don't have any. And you know, you can't buy or get any items. Because, yes, there is shops in this game. Don't worry. Now we can go up there. <laughs> we got stuck because Luigi was behind us. Okay, here we have to be careful, but uh... This was a pain in the neck just to do this on DS. Here we are. And this is also where the babies are. As you can see, above us is, well, babies. Find out. 
to not actually progress without the babies, actually. Allow me to brief apology. I was rushing. Forgot to mention how to move as a group of four. You see, the babies are unable to understand my communication. What a situation. Something funny. <laughs> wow. Let's see Ali Luigi's attempt. Huh. Huh. Oh, no. And then proceeds to spin around extremely fast while getting dizzy. Okay, so after all that, yes, they're not helpless. I suggest the four of you join forces and move on. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yes, proceeding as a group of four is rather vital. Look at the upper right hand part of the screen. The bottom screen, that is. And the icons look like this. Mario and Luigi can move. One, move about. When you're ready to proceed, let me go. So, really, actually, when both the adults and the babies are on screen, those four buttons will appear, but only two out of four of the buttons will actually be highlighted. The one that is highlighted is the one who you are controlling. So, A and B is highlighted, therefore meaning that Mario and Luigi are able to be moved. When you want the juveniles to move on their own, press X or Y. Go on, little humans, move. When you're ready to proceed, let me know. And like this, when it's X and Y, then you know, babies can move. And this way, control switches between the adult Mario and Luigi and the baby sized ones. Yes, but they're even more informationizing. And this is extremely convenient. Mario and Luigi can give the babies piggyback rides and move about together. It is simple to do. When Mario and Luigi get near the babies, the tykes climb up automatically. Try it and see. So basically, when Mario and Luigi t when Mario or Luigi touches one of the babies, they'll piggyback. Piggyback! Babies can also initiate the move by moving close to Mario and Luigi. Now then, let's go find our four missing companions. Back to adventure! Oh, yeah. Now you can do plenty of moves while you're on um, piggyback. For example, A and X allows you to have a higher jump, which will be able to uh, hit even better things. And then, usually, really, when you have to do A and X or B and Y, uh, it's usually for puzzles or other more valuable things. There's also X and Y icons up there that just allow you to throw the babies. Oddly enough, if you do it against the wall, they won't immediately piggyback up unless you actually move towards them. And for example, this block. Open the door by standing on the four minion switch. Prince Bowser's made a mess of the castle, so use caution when opening doors. Now, really, all you have to do is, together with baby Mario and baby Luigi, with Mario and Luigi, you have to jump on these platforms. Jump on these platforms. And you'll move on. And here's an example of X and Y. This is a little helpful item that you can use to teleport them, or at least teleport them nearby. Really helpful, actually. Here's a little bit of some uh, other places that you can use this uh, tactic. Whoops. Oh yeah, whoops. Luigi. There we are. Moving on. We have this little area. That was 
save album over here. And this. I forget the name of them, actually. I think that sign back there told us the name, but I wasn't interested in looking. Anyway, save album. Baby Mario and Baby Luigi are the perfect partners. Now that they have been found, the adventure really begins. Where's that time hole? So. Now being acquainted with Mario and Luigi, the babies are perfect teammates. Anyways, we have to hit that block to allow the brothers to move up. I don't think the babies could actually jump up on their own. Because, well... The adults have higher jumps, while the babies have lower and uh, smaller jumps. Moving on! Alright, here we have an example of a four player battles. Aha! You, you little green, red and green insects. Did I try to kidnap you once? Oh yeah, that's um, a reference to the Yoshi Island games. Yeah, I did. Boy, that didn't work out so well. You don't look quite so little anymore. You're much hairier, too. Yeah, but none of that matters. You look... You like bothering our buddy mas budding master of evil, do you? Then I'll bother you up. Here we go. Mario, Luigi, have you ever seen a piggyback movement battle? Oh, it is fantabulous. Let me show you how this action command works. Now Mario, you attack with a jump if you follow. Oh yes, he's going to teach us the magical things of double jumping. First with Mario, maybe Mario, and then Mario. Or maybe Luigi and Luigi. Such as that. Such like that. <laughs> Alright, now, Bros items. Yes, most, I think actually all of the Bros items have piggyback, piggyback actions too. Now, as you can see, up on the top screen, there's actually a 1 and a 2. So, X. X, B, whoops! Well, we could, uh, show it off for, uh, Luigi. Y, A, Y, B. Okay, so, <laughs> this is kind of difficult. I'm in a hurry, too. I don't want this to become too long. Alright, now, you're able to control on your own. And I accidentally hit A before X. Whoops. Eh, I suppose. Wow, the timing is interesting. Oh. I forgot the sh I forgot the tell. Okay, hold on. Why? B, there we go. Okay, that's Luigi. And, um... X, A, there we go. And let's just try one more time about green shells. That worked out. And also, they'll all get a they'll all get experience points if they're all, all here. So, level up. And yes, there we go. Finally. A three. Let's get a, let's get Luigi more into Wow. Let's get Luigi more into power, I was about to say, until that happened. 
Prince Bowser! Wing text. Alright, moving on. Got an item? Boy, these are difficult. Oh, oh! Got it. Okay, so here I'm about to just show you how to flee. Because I really don't want to fight this. You mash the A button and the B button when it's their turn. You will lose coins, as I just said. Lucky thing is, when you flee a battle, the enemy won't exactly run after you so quickly again. It'll just be, um, kind of in a you-can't-touch-it state. So next, this is the next room. Um, I'm just going to go in and save here. Baby Mario and Baby Luigi are the perfect partners. Bowser, Bowser, Blah, something that I already read. Where's our time hole? As you can see, if you look up on the top screen, there's also another area, but we'll get to that in the next episode. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, Please like, comment, and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching, and have a great day or night wherever you are. See you then.